Hello everyone, I'm Diana Relis and today I will show you how we make cashew creamer at home. You know, when I tell my clients that we make cashew creamer, we make our nut milks at home, people think that there's a lot of work involved and that's why I decided to film this video to show how simple it is. It is sometimes takes more time, you know, to explain all the steps and it takes much less time to actually do it. As a skin therapist, I can tell you that dairy has a lot to do with skin problems like acne and especially in women because even the best quality cow's milk or any other animal's milk is the milk to grow their baby. So it contains naturally, without even adding, naturally it contains growth hormones, sugar, and fat. And the biggest problem is the hormone that is another animal's hormone, that is not a human hormone. And it clashes with the human hormone and causes issues. It's difficult to process, it's difficult to get any benefits from it. So that's why I advocate to limit or eliminate all dairy products from your diet. If you're allergic to nuts, there are other ingredients that you can use for that. You can use uh, hemp seeds, you can use um, oats, you can use many things to make the milk if you, the milk is needed in your life. <laughs> so today we will be making cashew creamer. So I soaked cashews, I soak all the nuts before using. So those are soaked cashews, it's about three cups, a little bit less than three cups. Here's filtered water. I don't use the same water from the cashews that they were soaking. This is the fresh filtered water, it's two cups. We also will be using about a tablespoon of raw unfiltered honey and just a tiny tinsy bit of Himalayan salt. I'm using Blendtec blender and sometimes I use at the spa I have a Vitamix. Both work exactly the same. <laughs> Hello chocolate. <laughs> Are you gonna help me? Yeah, all my videos without failing have a cat in it now. So we're going to add all the ingredients in the blender. And on this blender, I will select the juice button. So it blends very, very smoothly. And this is it. I promise you, it's a very short process. So the, the cashews I soaked for about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Then adding it all into the blender was a few seconds, right? And blending took a minute and a half. So the actual making is less than two minutes. All right, then we have a nice foamy, smooth either milk 
or we can add into coffee. We can eat it with cereal, with oatmeal, however you want. Cheers. <laughs> that is all for today. See you next time. Thank you.